A brand new update hit Path of Titans this week and we also have some news regarding one massive mod being cancelled and another mod in the works that you will definitely like. Anyways guys, timestamps for everything are on the screen now and if you are new, feel free to subscribe to the channel but other than that, let's get right into it. The biggest news this week to me is one of the biggest mods that we were excited about the most being cancelled completely and that's right the Permian mod the mod that we all were hyped up for because it's one of the only mods that's actually bringing in Permian creatures or creatures from before the dinosaurs is cancelled it's over the mod that we were looking forward to with Antiosaurus, Adaphosaurus and many more is now gone. It was gaining steam, it was gaining traction and now it's cancelled. The owner of the mod basically put in his main discord server at everyone the Permian project has been cancelled. He later followed up by saying this, last announcement while this specific project is cancelled, me and some other various people may eventually work on a low budget non-profit Permian documentary, proof of concept, once we get more assets. However, ultimately this is a shame. I was very hyped for this. I know a lot of you people were very hyped to see the Permian creatures. Antiosaurus was almost completed as well in this mod too. And you could see that it was coming to the game within the next couple of weeks, if not months. So it does beg the question, what caused this to get canceled? Was there a major turn of events? that led it to be cancelled or did something else happen that we don't know about if you are aware and you do know because maybe it was put in the main discord server for the mod because that was completely deleted but if you do know let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know what actually happened with this mod but yeah let me know and what do you guys think are you sad to see this mod go or are you relieved let me know in the comments with the end of a mod comes the rebirth of a new mod that will definitely be something that a lot of you guys fancy. A Tyrannosaurus Rex mod is coming to the game within the next couple of months. It's going to be interesting, mainly because we're getting a mod for Tyrannosaurus Rex, whereas there's also an official Tyrannosaurus Rex that will be in the game at one point, so we'll be intrigued to see which one is better. Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Tyrannosaurus Rex, perhaps? That'll be actually quite interesting to note however this is a mod made by rogue terror 94 and i believe uh, that is the owner of the mod but it's shaping up to be one hell of a mod i'm definitely excited for this one firstly here's one of the skins that's being made on this tyrannosaurus rex and you can kind of see a sense of scale of the model as well with this mod too the model looks really nice the weight on the model looks really nice it's nice and chunky not shrink wrapped and it just works really well and of course we have a bunch of sounds here's four aggressive calls for the rex now i believe these were just to see which one was a fan favorite and then they'd pick that one but either way i believe these might have been made by rogue terror I'm not entirely sure. Whoever did make them has done a fantastic job though. Take a listen. We also get to see some animations as well. This includes a walking animation, which looks really nice, a trot animation, and of course, a running animation. These all look absolutely fantastic in my eyes, and it fits just that I love the animations. I can't get over them. I keep looking at them, and they're so well made. And it's very interesting because the modder is someone who we don't actually know that the animations are made by Cyborg Zeno and Cyborg you've done absolutely fantastic work with this animation and truthfully I want to see more of this work because it's so good it's so fluid and it gets a sense of weight as well which is what we need for a mod like this but yeah fantastic work to Rogue Terror and Cyborg I can't wait for this mod to come out I know I'm only briefly touching up on it I might have a full video when it does come out of course I will but of course I just wanted to mention it in this video now, Rogue Terror did mention that there's a Murta Rex as well, which is in the works. Now, if I do find the model, I'll have it on the screen now. Obviously, this is more like the Jurassic Park Rex or the Jurassic World Rex in a sense, but that is what it will be. But yeah, I'm very excited for this mod. I can't wait for it, but I now it makes me want to see what the actual in-game full Tyrannosaurus Rex will actually be like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. 
A new update has arrived to Path of Titans, and I can confirm this has broken mods once again. Mods have to be repackaged and updated, otherwise they will crash if you're on specific devices, more specifically, mobile devices. Nevertheless, this is quite a good update because it's a bug fix update, so it's not a major update, so I can talk about it and talk about the full change log right here. Now, there are some updates and additions, so I'm going to be going over them first. These include testing adding safe zones for UI and having the health bar status and chat widgets be lower on the screen. Added option to gameplay settings to switch between ability charging, double tap and hold and release. Updated wind up abilities and charges to be double tap by default. Updated charge abilities to drain stamina over time. Charges will cancel if stamina runs out before ability ends such as from Venom effects. An adjusted Iguanodon charging turn radius multiplier. And finally, the prevention of eating and carrying when using abilities. Now there are all the updates and additions. There are a lot of bug fixes however, so do get ready to listen to all of these. I'll have them all on the screen now while I talk about them like I just did then. This is all the bug fixes for this update. Fixed Allosaurus jittering when swimming. Fixed forced movement abilities not working while swimming. Fixed locomotion effect not applying until moving for the first time. Fixed for home cave map icons not being spawned. Fixed for meat chunks taking a while to drop on pickup. Fixed for roaring when closing map with gamepad. Fixed for auto run on gamepad. Fixed corpses shrinking upon death when growth loss on death is set in a community server setting. Fixed sounds getting cancelled after vocal sound is interrupted. Fixed for home cave map icons not spawning in multiplayer. Fixed for a focus player on map causing player to rest. Fixed for meat chunk scaling. Fixed for meat chunk offsets in mouth. Water plane bug fixes. Fixed for Deinonychus and Latina Venetrix tail fan ability not working when growth is disabled. Potential fix for server crash related to eating dead players or critters. Fixed voice wheel being able to open before vocals can be played. Fixed for some food items not causing player to uncrouch. Dedicated server optimization for fish physics volume and overlap updates. Fish bug fixes. Bug fixes to character previews. Fixed animations not updating fast enough. Bug fixes to in-game character skin editor preview. Fixed characters not showing at all for OpenGL devices running on the game on Android. Fixed for ambient particle never loading if a previously supplied particle was invalid. Fix for death screen respawn timer being empty. Fixes to tree, river and root graphical artifacts on Android. And fix a certain invisible rock type on Pandora. Now that invisible rock, I don't know what it is, but it's now gone. So uh, yeah, we can rest assured that the devs are working hard to get rid of the treacherous and evil invisible rock. That's that new update. It wasn't a big update. It was a bug fix update. Hopefully a lot of the problems that were in the game from the latest update have been fixed but do bear in mind mods still need to be fixed and updated they might be fixed by the time this video goes up but they might not be so do bear that in mind and there we have it everybody that is a brand new update for path of titans and there is some new mod news as well so what i was talking about here is just a weekly recap in a sense which i kind of want to do a little bit just recap some mod news and game news itself so we can just discuss about these in the normal format let me know what you think about this video do you want me to do a weekly or bi-weekly news video or just stick to the news videos and mod news videos let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know your thoughts but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed if you are new feel free to subscribe but yeah i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace